Here I have Sunwix Pro L1 and let me show you how to accomplish bypassing Google verification on the following device. As you can see at the very beginning, let's start by using the verify your account panel and at some point of initializing setup process the following screen should pop up and then you need to add the credentials to your Google account. But let me show you how to bypass this step and how to activate this, de this device without a Google account. Let's just go back to the first menu, which is of course the welcome panel in all the devices. And here all you need to do is choose the visual aids. Let me do it. Let me tap it. Let's choose TalkBack, the last option. Let's enable TalkBack. Tab OK to confirm it. Let's use the L letter right here. Choose TalkBack settings. Then let's use volume up and volume down to quit the talkback. Let's suspend talkback, let's tap OK. Alright, let's scroll down and let me just find and select the help and feedback. Choose the search key and let's type in voice. Tap voice, use the first link right here. Let's play this video. Let's use share key here. Select more key. Now we can use the YouTube, that's what we need for now. Let's minimize this video and let me quit it by swiping to the left. Choose accounts right here, select more key and choose settings. Here we can choose about. Then let's select the Google privacy policy. Now you can use the Chrome, let's tap accept and continue, select no thanks. Here all you need to do is type in download. Let's type in download dot hard reset dot info. Here I have the following link. Let me make it bigger. From the following list, all I need to do is select the of course the Sony folder. Here I have Sony folder. Let's let's make it bigger. Let's choose FRP. Sorry, my mistake. Let's choose FRP as I said. Just do it again, sorry for again. And let's download the shortcut maker, the hard reset shortcut maker. Let's choose update permission, tap allow Chrome to access photos, media, etc. Tab OK to the following information. And let's choose open. As you can see, install is blocked, but let's choose settings and let me enable the unknown sources on this device. So let's enable the unknown sources, tap OK, let's go back. Let's download this application one more time. Tab allow. Tab download. Choose open. Tab install. The shortcut maker is installing. Let's choose open. Here I can choose open. Yes, now we can use the shortcut maker. Let's type in the following phrase core settings choose core settings two times tap try and here you should enable non-security ADB let me do it that's it now you need to choose restart now the device is restarting let's wait a few seconds wait for the welcome panel
Excellent. So now let me just quit the talk bug. Let me choose visual aids. Let me choose talk bug. And let's disable the talk bug. Tab OK. Alright. So that's what we need. Let's go back to the welcome screen as I said. Let me connect my device to my PC. Here I have the USB-C to connect my device with my computer. That's what we need. And afterwards, some USB mode may pop up on your device. So in that option you should choose the transfer mode, the transfer file. If not, let's just leave it and let's download the application. The link will, will be under the video. And afterwards, you need to open this up. Let me do it. Here I have the unlock FRP. Let's unpack this application and let's open this up. And here all you need to do is click on unlock FRP. Let me do it. Just unlock FRP one more time. As you can see, in my case, some error pops up. So, all I need to do is disconnect my device and let me connect it one more time. Let me just check if everything is properly connected. This time everything is just fine. Let me choose skip and let's choose transfer files. So now let's use the unlock FRP one more time. This time everything went well. As you can see, success message pops up. So let's disconnect my Sony. And all you need to do is just wait for the home screen. Excellent. So the home screen just pops up. And let's choose apps icon here. Select settings. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the list and choose about phone. Then scroll down again and let's tap a couple of times on build number. So let's tap a couple of times. You are now a developer, you can go back. And here all you have to do is choose backup and re uh, sorry, is to choose developer options, of course. It's above the about phone right now. And let's enable the OEM unlocking. Choose enable. Let's go back and this time let's choose backup and reset. It's located under accounts and services. Scroll down and choose factory data reset. Select the reset phone and choose erase everything. Right now the device is performing the hard reset operation. The Sony is erasing all personal stuff and customized settings. Excellent, the welcome panel just pops up. Let's just quickly go through the initializing setup process just to make sure that we can activate our device without the uh, without the Google account. So let me choose setup as a new. Let me just quickly bypass all of the steps. Let's just, let's just go smoothly through the 
first startup process. Let me choose not now to protect my device. Tab skip anyway. Let's choose next. And as you can see, Express Services pops up. Choose not now. Tab skip. You are ready to go. Let's tap finish. As you can see, you have activated your phone without a Google account. So it's a good sign. Everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave a thumbs up under the video.